Hi Treacle Tarts, this is the last video for week two of Self Love September. I hope that you have had a really good time with the resources so far. I know I've really enjoyed putting them out. There is a Self Love Sunday SoundCloud audio file coming this Sunday, so make sure you keep an eye on my SoundCloud account. You can find the details and the details for all of my other social media in the down bar below. A very long time ago, many, many, many moons ago in my life, I started thinking consciously about self love, about self care, about how it applied to me and how it applied to other people and I actually remember one of the very first observations that I made about all of this self-love shizzle mcnizzle and the observation that I made that kind of rang in my head as clear as a bell was that a lot of people are so good at giving love to others and appreciating others and offering words of encouragement to others but they obviously find it very difficult to turn that stuff inward so we end up in a little bit of a situation where there are lots and lots of people that all struggle to give themselves words of praise and encouragement and to acknowledge their own strengths and value themselves. So we end up with this codependent kind of weird dance going on, like a weird little barn dance of codependency where we all have to rely on each other and lean on each other and go to each other for that kind of validation and approval. And that's when a lot of the difficulties start. I kind of touched on this a little bit in my Monday video about creating healthy relationships relationships and I definitely think it can be true, it can be the case that if somebody can't fill up their own well and see their own value and encourage themselves then they're very much going to try and start finding that validation and that encouragement and that praise from other people in their lives and that will go on in an unhealthy way, it will be dysfunctional. It's not a good way to fill up that inner well, you've got to be able to do it for you. And like I mentioned in my Monday video, you know, there's nothing wrong with going to somebody to seek advice from them and equally there's nothing wrong with getting praise from a friend or loved one, somebody in your life who wants to tell you that you've done well and congratulate you but it's when you need somebody else to fill you up in that way that's when it becomes problematic so here's my two questions that I think could be alchemical super alchemical questions for you what was the last inspiring encouraging or supportive thing that you said to somebody and what would happen to your internal chemistry and your beingness if you said that to yourself right now. There are definitely times in a human lifespan where a person cannot really be much good to other people and can't really counsel anyone and can't really help anyone. And I know I've been in that situation myself before where I've just been drained, I've got nothing left to give anybody and I've got to be honest about that and I've just got to take some time to step back and do me and think about me and put myself absolutely at the centre of my world because I'm broken and I require healing. And I think that that is a very healthy thing to acknowledge and we've all been in times in our lives where we just can't help anyone else because that is going on in our own lives. However, the majority of the time, we are, to one extent or another, helping other people out, encouraging other people, cheerleading them while they kind of push forward and attain their goals. We are being there for somebody in our lives who's going through a difficulty. Even if we're going through tough times ourselves, we still often find ourselves counselling or in some way providing for somebody who is also going through difficulties. I think sometimes it can be very easy to find yourself in a situation where you are the counsellor you are the friend, you are the healer, the giver, the wise one in a situation and you are giving a lot of your energy and a lot of your intention to a person that needs it but you're not giving any of that good shit to yourself, you know, you're absolutely giving away a lot of gold to others but you find it very difficult to drink of that same wisdom and ingest that same advice that you're giving to others when it comes to you and when it comes to your journey. Are you giving amazing advice to other people? Are you telling other people to harness their fear, to use their fear to attain their goal? Are you encouraging other people to be courageous? Are you urging other people to see their essential worthiness? Are you urging other people to appreciate their strengths and their talents and use those strengths and talents in life? If you are encouraging other people to go for fucking gold and just really take life and use life, but at the same time you're sitting on the sidelines and you're petrified with fear and you don't think you have any talent and you don't think you have any worth, then you're taking your riches and you're giving them to others while you yourself are in poverty. Take some time to think about some of the most 
useful advice, some of the most powerful words that you've given to people in your life who were in need of them. Take some time to think about, in general, just the kind, supportive and compassionate things that you've said to other people or the wonderful things you've done for other people to help them. And also think in particular about key advice that you've said about specific things in the past. Close your eyes and really get a, a good visualisation of the last time that you really were there for somebody, the last time that you gave supportive advice to somebody, the last time that you provided somebody with a shoulder to cry on, or think about the last time that you really encouraged somebody to see their worthiness and their strength and their ability. Close your eyes and really just strongly visualize every pixel of that scenario that you found yourself in and conjure up all of the feelings and the intentions that you had, the wonderful, compassionate intentions that you had when you were guiding that person and being there for that person. And just think about how valuable it would be if you turned that stuff in on yourself just a little bit more. One of the key things that I really like to do in my own self-love journey is I think about something I'm going through that's really difficult, I think about something that I'm currently going through that I'm really struggling to support myself through or love myself through, and I think to myself, okay, what kind of advice and guidance and loving encouragement have I given in the past to other people who found themselves in this kind of situation? What kind of wisdom have I bestowed upon them? What kind of encouragement have I shared with them? I'll share a personal story with you now. I'm not going to share tons of details, but I'm going to share the basic skeleton of what happened. So almost a year ago now, one of my very closest and very nearest and dearest friends who I had trusted and loved for six years and opened myself up to for six years behaved in a really fucking heinous way and stole money from me and lied to me and totally betrayed me, fucked me over and then left me for dead. I have been on a really interesting healing journey since that time and a journey of trying to break through the frozen surface of this sea and get down to the deeper illumination that swims beneath. And with some of the self-talk that was going on inside of me, I was definitely dealing with a lot of feelings of worthlessness, thinking about why I wasn't good enough for that person to do the right thing by me, why I wasn't worthy enough to be deserving of even a text or a phone call. It was really difficult and some of my self-talk became quite toxic and one of the ways that I dealt with this and brought myself back on track and brought myself back towards the journey of healing was to think to myself okay you know what I've counseled hundreds of clients through this kind of thing and I've counseled many friends through this kind of thing I've been there for people when shit like this went down what did I say to them during that time how did I help them to come back on track and get into the driver's seat again on their journey of healing how did I remind them of their essential worthiness? How did I bring them back to a feeling of empowerment? How did I try and put them back in touch with their sense of what it means to go through something, extract the lesson and move on, and move on in a state of joy and in a state of awareness? All of that wisdom and energy and moxie and fucking mojo that I have in the bag for other people, that I give to other people, that's available to me. And that's part of the self-love journey, is to realise that you can take this wonderful stuff that you bestow upon other people and you can turn it inwards. You can listen to the tape recording if you like. Sorry, I was born in 1984, so it's a tape. You can listen to the tape recording and you can rewind it back and you can play it to yourself. Take it on in your own heart. It's not just for other people, it's for you as well. And does that mean that you're going to 100% believe it wholesale and you're going to instantly feel better about anything that's going wrong and you're going to move back into adoring yourself immediately and there's going to be no problem? No, it doesn't mean any of those things. A healing journey is tough. Feeling like shit about yourself is tough. There are different things, different challenges that we'll go through in life that will really make us feel like, why weren't we worthy of more? Why did somebody treat us that way? Why don't we get what that person has got? Why don't we look how that person looks? There's gonna be all kinds of challenges that bring up all kinds of, of emotions that are difficult to go through and thought processes that are difficult to unpick and, and untangle and dissect. But you've gotta know that whatever wisdom, whatever love, whatever encouragement, whatever mojo you give to others is also yours for the taking and that you're not in poverty. You're not in poverty, you're rich. 
you're fucking rich. If you've ever sat down and given somebody the benefit of your wisdom and the benefit of your good intention and the benefit of your loving human compassion, then you've got that for you. You've got to start turning it inwards. You've got to start playing that tape back and listening to it for yourself. This is something that I wrote down when I was kind of writing my notes for Self Love September. Back in July, I started writing these notes. And there's a sentence here that says, we often encourage others to be independent, strong, brave, forthright and assertive, or willing to recognise how wondrous they are as human beings. Why aren't we doing that for ourselves too? Try this exercise. Try thinking about somebody that you really love, somebody that you really care for in your life, or somebody that you really respect and admire alternatively, or even a combination of both, okay? Just whoever fits for you, whoever fits the bill. And close your eyes and just start talking out loud to them about how great you think they are, how unique or how strong or how impressed you are with how they've come through their challenges, how impressed you are with their talent or their confidence, you know, how impressed you are with their ability to keep being positive and looking on the bright side of stuff and facing their challenges with gusto, like whatever it is about them that you really admire, whatever it is that you love about them that you really want them to hear, tell them how you feel about their beingness. As you're doing that, Feel the vibrations that are coming up inside your body. Feel the way your body chemistry is changing as you fill up with that desire to give, with that ability to give and to be compassionate and to signal to somebody that you think that they are important and that you want them to see their essential worthiness. Connect to the vibration, connect to the feelings that are running through you as you say the words. And then harness those vibrations, harness those feelings and turn them all in on your own heart chakra. Direct them all back in. Turn them around and send all of that love, all of that warmth, all of that strength and power and intention back to you. Because you deserve it, honey. You need it now. There is nothing wrong with gaining support from people in your life. There's nothing wrong with getting counselling in order to get that professional perspective and get some direction, get some techniques. There's nothing wrong with venting and opening up to somebody when you really feel like you need to express what's in your heart. There's nothing wrong with gathering support from your circle of friends, from your family, from professionals who can direct you accordingly. There's nothing wrong with any of that. But you've got to know... If you've ever been the kind of person that's shown compassion to anyone, if you've ever done some voluntary work, if you've ever told somebody that they're awesome and that they can do whatever it is they think they can't do, if you've ever nurtured and taken care of a child or nursed somebody who's dying, you've got to know that you've got it in you to give yourself. You are not in poverty when it comes to that. You've got riches, you're wise, you are giving and you can give to yourself. As you're listening to my words, you might be thinking that you could be one of those people who now needs to step back a little bit from giving quite so much to others so that you actually can give more to yourself. And that is something that you have absolutely every right to do. Sometimes it's very important to look at our energy expenditure and to recognise that we need to ration it a little bit more fairly so that we can bring love back to us, so that we can bring attention and focus back to us. And if that's something that you need to do, darling, then you take that power back. You don't need to be cruel to somebody, you don't need to rage at somebody, you don't need to push somebody away. You have every right to exert your boundary by calmly communicating that there is stuff going on right now for you and you need to show up for you. You need to be there for you first and that that's got to be the priority. If somebody can't deal with that, if that really disappoints somebody and shatters their illusion of who you were gonna be in their lives, then that's something that they need to deal with. That's something that they need to take on and they need to process. If you are aware that way too much of your time, energy and focus is going outwards towards others at a time when you really need to recoup it and bring it back to self, then you have a responsibility to yourself now. And I will leave you with that thought and that consideration. And don't forget, like I said, I'll be on SoundCloud on Sunday. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget that you can share your self-love story with me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can click on the link to the video below, which explains to you how you can share your self-love stories and get them featured on the master blog post. Please do share your thoughts, your comments, your ideas, your feedback, your experiences down below in the comments section. And until next time, it's been amazing doing self-love September and having you along for the ride. Much love and self-love, chickens. Blessed be.